Hey guys, it's Jay from Skull Gaming Network. Welcome to another Retro Bowl Team Builds video with the Dallas Cowboys. Today it's episode 2. And to start things off, before we get into the gameplay, we're going to rename Everson Walls by request from Shane Turns to Dion Sanders. Of course, you can't not have Dion. Now, Dion will be on an eventual Atlanta Falcons team build. But I did forget him from the Cowboys a little bit. That's my fault. We also have a question. What about Jason Witten? We have Jay Novacek. Let's rename him to Jay Witten. A combination of Jay Novacek and Jason Witten. I think that's fair. Jason Witten, definitely a franchise icon. And now that we've done those two things, a little bit of minor housekeeping. Today we're going to go to Cincinnati, be at home with Green Bay, We'll do the bye week, and then we go to Philly, and we're at home against Cleveland. We're going to meet with the team. Let's get morale up. Come on, guys. We're 4-0. Let's be excited about it. And here we go. Taking on Cincinnati. I'm not sure if Cincinnati would wear their darks or if they'd make us wear our darks. We'll say they'd wear black and we'd wear white. First play of the game, a completion to Alvin Irvin. And then the second play, he fumbles it directly into the arms of a Bengals defender for a quick turnover. Cincinnati, they can't do anything on offense, though. They punt, and we're back on offense. We're going to go to Jay Witten, 18 yards first down. So there we go. On first down, looking to, oh, I was looking at Alvin Irvin, but I got sacked. Second down now. Okay, we're going deep. Irvin, leap and catch, gain of 12, makes it third and manageable. It's third and three, actually, so it was more like a gain of 13. Third and three, we hit Witten, leap and catch, break some tackles, gain 17, down to the 39. Good for a first down. On first down, on the comebacker, we're hitting Irvin Cott, straight in. He's to the 25-20, jumps a couple tackles, 10-5, touchdown, a 40-yard strike, makes it 6 nothing. Going for two, Witten. Oh, it's picked. That was a good defensive play. So it's 6 nothing instead of 8 nothing. We get the ball back after another defensive stop. We hand to Emmett Smith, and he gets a whopping one yard. On second down, we're going to hand to Emmett again. He gets three yards, so it's third and six. Not a good start to the drive. Not a good start to the drive. But third down, deep shot. Drew Pearson leaping catch. He's to the 35 down. Just inside the 35, a gain of 29, and a first down on first down. Drew Pearson caught top of the screen, down at the 20, gain of 14, first down. One play left in the quarter. Let's make it count. Oh, oh, oh I, I misread it. I misread it, and it's incomplete. Second and 10. Over the top, Witten caught. If I hit him in stride better, it would have been a touchdown. As it is, it's a gain of 15 and first and goal at the 5. We hand to Smith, he gets 4 yards, second and goal inside the 1. Coming up, we'll just hand it to Smith. Just go right off tackle, it's 12-0. On the short touchdown run, Witten gets a 2 this time, and it's 14-0. Cincinnati with the ball, they're going to drive, and they're going to score. It's 14-7, and we get a true 1-minute drill here. We're going to put up some points, I'm going to guarantee it. And then we're going to have a dumb turnover. Smith jumps a tackle. He's to the 40, 35, 30. Strafe misses another tackle, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Dallas Cowboys touchdown, a 68-yard connection. I believe it's Roger Aikman. Yes, that's why I named him. Roger Aikman to Emmett Smith. We're going for two. We're already up by 13. It's 20 to 7, and now it's 22 to 7. There we go, Cowboys. And that's the half. We get the ball to start the second half. No, I'm not an actual Cowboys fan. But yes, when I'm taking over and rebuilding a team, even when it's the Green Bay Packers, I will cheer for the team I've rebuilt. Now, with, when it gets to Green Bay, who, as a Vikings fan, I naturally despise, you know, I might have them only wearing alternate uniforms so they're not wearing their awful color combination and some other stuff, but ultimately, what I do put on the screen will not be intended to disrespect any given franchise. As we get a touchdown 
Was that Witten? I believe it was. We get the two to Witten for sure, and it's 30 to 7. Cincinnati with the ball. They drive it. They score. It's 30 to 14. Back on offense, and we hit Irvin. He's to the 50, 45, 40, 35 to the 30. He's had a quiet game. Will he take it all the way? Not quite. Down to the 15, gain of 55, first and 10. On first and 10, we're going deep, end zone overthrown and complete second down. On second down, over the middle, leaping catch Smith. 15-yard gain down inside the one. First and goal. We're going to QB sneak it. Aikman rushing touchdown. It is 36-14, going for two. And Irvin catches it. It's 38-14. We'll get the ball back, most likely. Nine seconds left. No, we don't get the ball back. We win 38-21. Sean Lee's hurt. He's out for a week. Emmett Smith, great performance. But your morale is maxed out. We're going to praise the coaching for putting you in the position to succeed. He only had 91 yards, but he had two touchdowns. He had that big 68-yard catch and run. And now we take on Green Bay in week six, speak of the devil. We're going to have him wear green. Again, I don't like the color combo, but the Cowboys wear white at home. And Green Bay scores first possession to take a 7-0 lead. We hit Irvin. That's caught to the 46, gain of 15. Good for a first down. On first down to Irvin we go, gain of five out of bounds. Second and five. We're going to Emmett Smith. Dive. It's Tip Pearson with the catch. Kind of a miraculous play, gain of nine first down. On first down we hand to Emmett Smith. Runs up the middle, big stiff arm, gain of seven. Second and three coming up. We hand to Smith again. Let's get him going on the ground a bit. Jumps the tackle. He's to the 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. 32-yard run. Makes it 7-6. We're going for two. Witten catches it. We're up 8-7. Green Bay gets the ball, and they punt. We're back on offense, and we're going deep shot. Alvin Irvin caught in stride to the 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, strafe in, one defender misses inside the five, down to the three, gain of 57, first and goal, one second left in the quarter, we're going to look to Irvin, and it's caught 14, 7 to end the first quarter, going for two, Smith gets the two, and it's 16, 7, that's the way to end the quarter, Green Bay with the ball, and they throw a pick. So we're back on offense. Yeah. Oh, I was going to throw to Witten, but I got sacked right before I was planning to let the ball go. Second and long over the middle. Smith caught a couple stiff arms. He's to the 30, 25, 20, 15, 10. This is a long touchdown, five end zone, a 55-yard catch and run. Combine it with a 32-yard rushing touchdown, and Smith is having himself a game. Still in the first half, Irvin gets the two. It's 24-7. Green Bay throws another pick. We're back on offense. We're going to hand to Emmett Smith again. He gets five. Under a minute left, just trying to take the clock down, get a score, and not let Green Bay retaliate. We get three more yards rushing on second down. Third and one. Why not run it again? Another gain of three, another first down. Still plenty of time left on the clock. There we go. Smith jumps a couple tackles, gains 10 first and goal, just shy of the two. And that is a three-yard rushing touchdown officially for Emmett Smith. It is 30-7. to Witten, okay. Two-point conversion was tipped, so it's 30-7 to at the half. We get the ball to start the second half now. Going to Irvin Cott, strafe outside, 10-plus yards, first down, out of bounds. On first down, we hit Emmett Smith in the air. He gains 10 yards. It's going to be second and inches, though. Second and inches, we're looking at Irvin deep, overthrew it, didn't want to risk the pick. Third and inches coming up, and we're going to go over the top. That is Witten, 15 yards, first down. Good play by the J. Novacek Jason Witten hybrid. On first down, that's Emmett Smith. He's to the five, 
Jumps a tackle, 24-yard receiving touchdown. His third touchdown of the game, and it's 36-7. We throw a pick. It started to get returned, but it doesn't go anywhere, so it's 36-7. Green Bay with the ball, and Lilly back from injury forces a fumble. We hit Pearson for eight yards to end the third quarter, and we start the fourth quarter now up by four scores, and Pearson gets jammed. It's incomplete. Third down, Pearson caught, pass the 30, strafe, he's to the 40, 45, pass midfield down at the Packers, 49, first and 10. That was a really nice play from Drew Pearson, who, again, his stats aren't the greatest, but he makes plays. Then we hit Smith for a 10-yard catch and run, good for a first down. Oh, that was a bad throw, that's a pick. I knew as soon as I threw it that I didn't throw it far enough to the sideline, and I awkwardly threw it in that in-between zone where it wasn't short enough for the default and wasn't long enough for only Pearson. But we get the turnover right back, and now second and two after a first down completion, Pearson caught in stride. 25-yard touchdown makes it 42-7. So we're getting everyone involved in this massacre of a blowout against Green Bay. We get the two, it's 44-7. Green Bay, they get a touchdown just to make it look a little less ugly. It's 44-14. That's your final. We're going to praise the defensive coordinator. A great effort. Aikman's hurt. He's out one game, but that one game is going to be our bye week. So it's not one game. It's one week, and we'll gladly sacrifice that. We'll continue to invest in our rehab facilities During our bye week, let's meet with the media, get fan support to 100%. There we go, Aikman is back and ready to play, going into Philadelphia for week eight. We'll meet with the owner, and we will max out rehab facilities, and now we take on Philly in Philly. And they drive, they get a touchdown, miss the extra point, so they're up 6-0 on offense. Going to Irvin, tipped, incomplete, second and 10. On second and 10, we're going to Smith. That's caught, jumps a tackle, stiff arm, and a 27 down just shy of the 37, first and 10. On first and 10, we're going to look to Alvin Irvin, jammed incomplete. We've got to make better reads to that top receiver. I mean, I threw a pick late in the Green Bay game and now a couple bad incompletions to start. The defender runs away from Irvin. He must have really bad B.O., but we'll take it. Again, in 21, first and 10 at the 16, outside, inside, gain of 13, down just shy of the two, first and goal. On first and goal, back of the end zone, Witten leaps, incomplete out the back of the end zone. Second and goal. We'll throw to Smith, two-yard touchdown, it's 6-6. We're going for two. And it's already tied. Uh, I threw it too far to the sideline, so it stays 6-6. Philly with the ball. They get a field goal, they're up 9-6. Back to offense we go. Over the middle, Smith leaping catch. It was intended for him, but given it was slightly overthrown, I would have rather had Irvin catch it. Regardless, it's a first down. I get sacked at 2nd and 16. I tend to try to hold on to the ball for a little bit too long and get sacked. I overthrew it incomplete there. It's 3rd and 16. We've got to throw to Pearson, and it's picked. Oh, boy. Well, we're going to need a bit of a comeback here. We have plenty of time to do it, but we're going to need a bit of a comeback. We tackle him, thankfully, at the 5. If we can hold him to a field goal here, that would be huge. Touchdown, though, and it's 16-6. Minute 27 left until the half. We're going to get back eight points here. So you're going to make it a two-point game. That is my resolution. That is my semi-guarantee. Pearson caught 10 yards first down. I want Pearson to be my number two receiver on the bottom of the screen. I don't want him being the top receiver at the top of the screen. That is turned to no man's land incomplete. Second and 10, Smith leaks out of the backfield. That's caught. He's tackled very nicely from behind. It's a limit to a gain of nine. It's certain inches. We run it. We gain three first down. On first down, there we go. That is caught. Pearson inside the 15, inside the 10, down to the six. 
first and goal. On first and goal, we're going to go to Witten, Cott, touchdown, Jay Witten, the hybrid of Jay Novacek and Jason Witten makes it 16-12, going for two. Pearson gets it at 16-14, and that's the guarantee I gave you guys. And we get the ball to start the second half. So, as bad as that interception was, we'll bounce back. Emmett Smith, two-yard run to start things off. On second down, we hit Irvin. To the 50, down to the 47, gain a 12 first down. On first down, we're going to run. Our reads were mostly covered, so we take off, we scramble, we get four yards. Almost five yards at second and five. Going over the top, that's Irvin. Down to the 22, gain a 20 first and 10. On first and 10, we hand to you Emmett Smith. There we go. He jumps some tackles, breaks some tackles. That's a 22-yard rushing touchdown for number 22. To make it 20 to 16. Going for two, and it's caught. It's 22-16. We're in really good shape. Philly with the ball, let's stop him once. Well, that's not going to do it. We're now down 23-22, but we have the ball, and we have plenty of time, and we only really need one point. We hit Irvin. We're up to the 45 first down. On first down, we hand to Smith. Stiff arm jumps all but the last tackler, gets seven yards at second and three. On second and three, Bounce it to the side, gain four, get the first down. On first down, that is Emmett Smith. Down to the 30, gain of 14, first and 10. On first and 10, we're going to go to Irvin Cott, strafe outside. He's inside the 10 to the 5, down inside the 1, and we start the fourth quarter, basically breathing on the goal line. Aikman. QB sneak. It is 28-23. We're going for two. Kind of a big two, and we get it. It's 30-23. to So most likely, if Philly scores, they're just going to tie it. And they do score, and they do tie it. So we have a minute and 40 seconds left in a tie ball game where all we need to do is score to win. We hand to Smith. We get six at second and four. You're going to see a lot of running on this drive as we get four more yards because I want to drain the clock. I don't want to leave any time for Philadelphia to come back and score. We hit Irvin. We get 11 yards. We get a first down. If it's not a good run look, we will pass it. And if we get behind my yards and timing mechanism I like to use, which I like to have a second per yard I need to gain, then I'll start to air it out. But Smith, you got a four-yard run, then he breaks one for 13 and a first down. So we're in pretty good shape. This time he gets four, we'll use a timeout. 37 seconds left. Second down. We're going deep to Irvin. We had it in stride 10, 5, touchdown. We left 27 seconds left. I would have liked to leave a little bit less time, but we're up six. And now we're up 8, 38, 30. So the worst-case scenario, we head to overtime, and no, we win 38-30. That was a strong Philly team. Yeah, you want to win by more than eight, but there's no shame in that result. Aikman, 282, four TDs, one pick. Smith, 136 total yards, two TDs. Two tall Jones will boost his tackling, max that out. DeMarcus Ware will do strength, and now we take on Cleveland Week 9. Drew Pearson fell asleep watching game film. Fine him. Come on, man. You can't fall asleep watching game film. Now, here we go. Taking on Cleveland. They're going to wear their mono orange unis that I set for them in Dallas against our whites. That seems like a semi-plausible look. Now, Cleveland, yeah, they're more likely to wear brown, but that's neither here nor there couple plays in, we're in opposing territory, we're at the 43, that's thrown short, incomplete, kind of to no man's land, no harm, no foul, second down, we hit Smith, big stiff arm, there we go, strafe, makes the defender miss, 10-5, that's a 40 plus yard touchdown, 43 to be exact, 
and we're going for two up six nothing and the two makes it eight zero cowboys cleveland gets the ball they punt we're back on offense on offense we hit jay witten he's to the 40 gain of 24 first down on first down we're gonna throw it to smith out of the backfield that was perfectly thrown in there. A couple stiff arms, gains 24, just shy of the 16. It is first down on first and 10. We're going to hand to Smith. A couple stiff arms, jumps to tackle your two, gains seven at second and three. On second and three, we're going to look to Pearson in the end zone, and he gets it. Nine-yard touchdown. It is 14-0. Going for two, we hit Pearson, and it's 16 nothing. Cleveland with the ball, they punt, they go three and out. On offense, we go, throw it away. Pass rush got there. There's no intentional grounding, just as there's no pass interference, so we'll take advantage. Then we hit Jay Witten. He's to the 35. He's to the 30. He's to the 25, 20, 15, out of bounds, gain of 44 yards, and with just under 30 seconds left. We hit Smith 15-yard touchdown. It is 22-0 still in the first quarter, and now it's 24-0. What a first quarter for the Cowboys. Cleveland, they're starting to put it together, and they get a touchdown to make it 24-7 in the second quarter here. But the damage is done. We hit Pearson. He's past the 40-45 up to the 48 and a half. Gain of, I believe it said 24 good enough for a first down we hit Pearson he's inside the 40 down to the 39 gain of 13 and another first down on first down we hit Smith gain of five second down coming up on second and four they're gonna call it we hit Pearson first down strafe out strafe in he's to the 15 he's to the 10 down at the eight and a half gain of 24 on first and 10 we hit Pearson Five yards out of bounds inside the four. Second and goal. Hit Witten. Four-yard touchdown. It's 30-7. to seven. We're going for two, and it's 32-7 to seven. Cowboys. And that's your halftime score. Cleveland to start the second half. They do drive here. They get a field goal to make it 32-10, to 10, but we're still in great shape. Emmett Smith only one yard on the ground. First play of the second half, but... That's okay. Second down, we're going to air it out a bit, and we throw a pick. Ay ay ay. Cleveland gets a field goal. It's 32-13. That's how the game goes. I don't like throwing picks. I don't try to throw picks, but sometimes it happens. We hit Witten. We got the first down. How is that a pick? Emmett, you got to stay back like a half stop, but we get the pick right back. So a couple ugly second half picks, but we're still up 19. Pearson with the catch inside the 25, down just shy of the 22, gain of 26 first down. On first down, we're going to run with Aikman. Run with Roger Aikman. Five yards first on first down makes it second down. I was going to say first down, but no, it's not a first down. We run with Emmett, breaks some tackles, gains five, second and inches coming up here. On second and inches, we throw to Pearson, gain to three, first and goal at the nine. On first and goal, Witten caught touchdown. It is 38-10. We're going for two. Let's make it 40. Let's make it 40, and we make it 40. There we go. We'll get the ball back, hopefully. Cleveland with the ball. No, they run the timeout, but they throw a pick, so we win 40-10. to Bob Lilly's hurt. He's out for another game, but we're 8-0. Two games clear of the one seed, and this team looks unstoppable. Of course, I said that about the Ravens. They dropped a game. They finished 15-1, and but hopefully this time it's different. In tomorrow's video, we'll take on Pittsburgh, Baltimore, Washington, and Minnesota. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new for more Retro Bowl Team Builds content in the comments. Let me know, are you liking this Cowboys team? Also, feel free to let me know what teams I should rebuild. 
I do have a running list going. I believe up next, I have to check for sure, but it's either the New York Giants or the Chicago Bears. I know both of those teams are on the list along with the Pittsburgh Steelers, but you'll have to let me know about any other teams you want to see because that's how I'm going to know that you want to see them. With all of that being said, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks everyone for tuning in, and until next time, and as always, peace out.